Hello YouTubers, this is 286man. Today I'm going to install an ID flash module into this 486DX2 at 50 MHz computer. This is how it looks like. It's 512 megabytes capacity. Let's unpack it. The case opens easily from the back. It's a plastic case slides easily out. Now I have to remove the cables, the ID cable and the Molex cable from the old hard drive because it went just bad. Both the cables are removed now. And I need also a 40 pin IDC adapter to plug into the IDE flash module in order to make it fit into the IDE cable. You always have to align pin 1 on the IDE flash module with pin 1 on the IDE data cable. The IDE flash module comes bundled with a Molex power cable. So let's plug it in. Now I just have to put all the cables back in their place. The reason why I chose a 512 megabyte IDE flash module is because this BIOS supports maximum 512 28 megabytes of hard drive space. It should have no problem detecting the write capacity and the geometry. And we're ready to go. I have prepared a bootable diskette with MS-DOS made from the original set of diskettes. Now I need to partition.
the ID flash module shows no partition, so let's make one. I have to boot the diskit again. And now let's check if the partition has been made. Now all that's left is to format it. We can put the boot sector on the hard drive. Formatting has completed very fast. And now you have to issue a special command to make the master boot record correct. Now it should be prepared for the installation of MS-DOS. And the computer should boot from the hard drive, which is an IDE flash module right now. It had it booted correctly and without any noise, because flash storage does not have any moving parts. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more next time.